Ah, <sighs> hello, hello everybody. I have the house to myself, which does not generally hand. I have a bunt cake. If you have one of these nothing bunt cakes near your house and you've never tried one, do yourself a favor and get one because it's delicious. Um, at first I was like, oh, bunt cake, who cares about bunt cakes? But like, delicious, totally worth it. So I wanted to recap about vacation. We went to Virginia and it was amazing. Like Virginia is for lovers. I am a lover. Virginia is for me. Um, I love that state. It was beautiful. We did a couple different things and um, we spent most of the time at the ocean, but on the way down, mm, oh, so good. On the way down, we stopped at a hotel in Virginia because we couldn't check into our condo until Sunday. So Saturday night, the whole family met up at a hotel and we all just like went swimming and had a good time. The kids did so incredibly well on the drive. Like I'm shocked how well the kids did. Um, for us driving from New York, it was overall a 10 hour drive. It was really long. Um, and then when you factor in bathroom stops and I mean, this was probably the first vacation with the kids, they're five, seven, and eight. And it was the first one where it wasn't a constant, I gotta go to the bathroom, I gotta go to the bathroom, I gotta go to the bathroom. But what we did have was a lot of, are we there yet? Probably my favorite thing was the entire family walking, taking a walk down the beach at sunset and getting the most beautiful pictures of everybody at sunset. It was so, so beautiful. But then it took a turn for the worse because crabs. Like whose idea, whose idea was beach crabs? They're basically beach spiders. And for as much as I love the ocean and the beach, like I lost a little respect. <laughs> I'm joking of course, but like I am a little bit more scared of nighttime walks at the ocean because of all the crabs. Like it's definitely something that I never, I never went crabbing before this and I never want to do it again because I was creeped out. Mm. First very like full day there without needing to do shopping or anything. It was raining and we had a tent and we had umbrellas but there were also 11 people so I don't think any of us were fully like under a tent or anything and it was also very windy. Um, so I, I'll show you. So I basically, like I was sitting in my beach chair and I just had a towel hovering over me like this. <laughs> and I was just like trying not to get soaked. And actually it, like it kept me pretty dry, but um, if you don't know me very well, I really don't like getting wet. So for as much as I love the beach and the ocean, I really just love looking at it, taking in the calmness and peacefulness of the atmosphere and the environment there. I don't, I don't get in the water. I don't go swimming. I, I like land. So I really like, I don't like being wet and cold. Like, I don't know. Like a, a lot of people are like, oh, you're at the beach. You're going to get wet anyways. Like who cares? But like, Eh, not my jam. I don't really love it. We also went to the aquarium. Tim and I have been there before. We've been to Virginia Beach together two or three other times. So this was the first time that we were there with the kids. And when we were dating, we went to the aquarium together. So when we were back there, it was kind of like nostalgic. So it was my kids and then my husband's sister's kids, so our nieces. So all together there were five kids and they were all in one bedroom. There were two sets of bunk beds and then one of the bunk beds had a full, full size bed, I don't know, or a double, whatever it's called. And so all five kids slept in the same room. We were really nervous about it at first and I think the kids were a little bit, 
I mean, not all the kids, but some of the kids were a little bit nervous about everybody sharing a room because five kids in one room, like who's actually going to sleep. But I being asleep, whoa, the sun just came out and got all bright. But being a sleep consultant, obviously, like, I take sleep really seriously. So I turned on some kids' meditation for the kids, and every night they fell asleep to meditation, and sleep was not an issue at all. I wanted to tell you about this, like, kids' meditation stuff. So there are certain products that I will always recommend to my sleep clients or just parents across the board. One of them being a tot clock when your kid transitions to a toddler bed. This is like all messed up right now. Um, when your kid transitions to a toddler bed, you want like a clock that's gonna tell them like red stay in bed, green you can be seen. It's like those color changing clock things. And now that my kids are older, they don't want that anymore and they don't need it anymore. I can just get them a clock, but also to calm them down at night and to just kind of like keep them in their beds and not getting up and going to talk to each other because sometimes they want to do that. The Zenimo! If you don't know what a Zenimo is, I'm going to leave a link to the description box or to the Zenimo in the description box because I love this device. Now it launched, I think in 2020. So right when COVID hit and I feel like it did not get as much attention as it deserves. So this is a screen free kids meditation device. And what you do is like, where is it? In inside the Zenimal here, there's a mini SD card and it has kids meditations on it. And on the back, you can see like what kind like they're dedicated to. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine different meditations on each button. I don't know if you can see the buttons on here. Yeah, you can, but on each button, there's a different meditation. And these are the categories. So stillness, breath, inspiration, relaxation, sleep, gratitude, empathy, awareness, and restoration. So when we go to bed at night, we turn this on. I'll turn the volume up for you. So you hear it's just calm and soothing. And then let's do, let's do sleep because obviously I love sleep. Let's begin by lying down quietly, being mindful while we get ready for a peaceful sleep. So you can hear obviously like this is meditation for kids. And if you're going on a trip, bring this with you. And the awesome thing is that like you can, it works not plugged in, but if you keep it plugged in, it will play white noise for the entire night. So this is like a win, 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 win situation. I love this animal, get one. I wasn't really planning on waking up at the crack of dawn for watching the sunrise. But my in-laws ended up getting up really early and they scooped up Kaya out of her bed and then my nieces were up, I think, with their parents. I don't really remember how it all went because I was sleeping. But our bedroom, Tim and my bedroom, was right by the front door so we did hear them and I woke up and I was like, you know what? Like I went out on the balcony and I was watching the sunrise and I was watching the kids and I was just watching them all like be sleepy and just admiring the sunrise. And I was like, I'm gonna go out there. So I went out and I was sitting on the <laughs> lifeguard station, just watching the sunrise. There were dolphins jumping. It was absolutely beautiful. And I've seen the sun rising in, our, in Virginia. Um, actually, this wasn't the first time the kids were in Virginia. Well, this is the second time the kids were in Virginia. The first time they were in Virginia, I woke up early to uh, catch the sunrise and nobody else woke up with me but this time I wasn't up by myself and it was really it was just such a beautiful thing like I know it sounds so cliche but like if you're ever on the east coast get up and watch the sunrise so Tim has a metal detector and obviously like if you have a metal detector if you're going to use it anywhere you're going to use it at the beach because pirates <laughs> Um, we definitely went out metal detecting one of the nights and found nothing, but 
it, but before the trip, we were really trying to work with the kids on learning how to swim and being confident in swimming because obviously like the waves and the ocean and just like, you know, swimming is a big deal when you're on vacation. And I will say I am so proud. I mean, I am really proud of all the kids. Kaya has always been a really strong swimmer. She has no fear and she just goes for it. Timmy has always been more anxious, but watching him swim and being excited and happy about it and showing me tricks and all those things, it really, really, it really made me really happy. And he has just grown leaps and bounds over the past couple years. And I'm just, I'm so proud of him. So, I mean, other than that, the ride home, the ride home was just kind of like a bummer. Like who wants to leave the beach to come back and get ready to go to school? But um, it was still, it was still a really, really good ride. And there was a lot more sleep being had on the way down than there was on the, I mean on the way back up than there was on the way down because we were all exhausted. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing a little bit of a recap of our time in Sandbridge, Virginia. I didn't do like typical vlogging there because I wanted to be in the moment and enjoy the time with the family. So next time you see a vlog, you're probably gonna see the kids first day of school. Oh! And my entire work schedule is going to change. So a lot of changes coming up and I will keep you guys up to date. So thanks for watching. Bye.